Hey there, this is Stan, K9SWX, and today I want to talk about an app called Gaia GPS and how you can integrate ham radio into it with things like repeaters, parks on the air, and summits on the air. So first off, what is Gaia GPS? Basically, it's a hiking app for iPhone, iPad, Android, uh, which allows you to save various maps offline so you don't need to be connected to the internet uh, because a lot of hikes out in the wilderness... Uh, you won't have cell signal. So uh, being able to download those maps uh, is pretty crucial to being able to complete your hike or whatever outdoor uh, activity you're doing. So I've got the uh, Gaia GPS website open at the moment. And I thought it would be cool uh, one day. I thought, you know what? It'd be kind of cool if I had I could see all the repeaters, the ham radio repeaters in my area or my state on the map. Because then when you're, you know, and especially if you're in a new area, you would know, you know, what kind of repeater coverage you have and, and could program that into your radio if you didn't have it already. And then I got to thinking, well, what if you could go further than that and you could put all the parks on the air parks on the map? And same with summits on the air. Now, here in Illinois, we don't have very many summits on the air because it's pretty flat until you get into, like, southern Illinois. So I'm going to show you what I've done and then how I got to that point. So the first um, thing I'm going to do, I've got it in my saved items up here. I'm going to turn on the repeaters. And I've already imported repeaters from repeaterbook.com for Illinois. So I'm going to turn that layer on with this little eyeball. And as you can see, hey, that's pretty cool. It shows you all the repeaters that I've, I, that I've imported into um, Illinois here. So I think that's pretty cool. And as, as you notice, um, all these have these icons are little look, looks like broadcast towers or almost looks like rockets. But uh, as you zoom in, like if I zoom in here to Champaign where I'm at, um, the labels on these things will show they're kind of hard to read, but um, it'll give the repeater call sign and then the city name and then the uh, frequency. And like this one will give the tone. This this one here is a the D star repeater. So it doesn't have a PL tone, but like this is one of our main FM repeaters here in Champaign. And as you can see, there it is. 162.2 is the, is the PL tone. So, you know, just at a glance, you know, I've, I've got these repeaters. I could easily program in them to my HT and I'd be good. So that's pretty cool. But what if you wanted to see parks on the air? Well, I've got that in here as well. So I'm going to turn that layer on. And now I can see all the parks, the uh, POTA parks in my area or in Illinois because that's where I imported them. So, you you know, it's it's pretty cool. And like if I was down here, I've been to this park before. I've never activated it before. But um, if I've been at this park and then you can see kind of what repeaters like there's a repeater up here, there's a repeater here and down here. So, you know, there's there's some repeater coverage in this area because some parts of this park oddly enough, don't have cell coverage, which I, <laughs> I found out one day when I went for a hike and um, didn't have all the, the maps downloaded. So that was kind of fun. But anyway, um, there are some summits on the air down here in southern Illinois, uh, way down here, I think, down here in like Shawnee Forest. So if I turn that layer on, you'll see these and they show up. I've got them set to like a little mountain icon because you know, summits, all that. And it gives the summit designator like W9 slash IL dash 004. Um, you don't get too much data when you click on it. Um, it does, apparently this one's called Wamble Mountain. Didn't know we had any mountains in Illinois, but there you go. Um, but that's, that's kind of what I thought, you know, it's like, and then that way, if you're traveling somewhere, um, like, you know, if you took, uh, I've got some here in Iowa too. Um, but if you're traveling, you could have all this in your, your phone or your tablet or your computer. And you would know, you know, what was in your area and you, you had an extra time. You could hop over to a park or a summit and, you know, activate or whatever you want to do. All right. So we're going to start with a clean slate here and I'm going to show you how I did all those. So the first thing I'm going to go do is go to repeaterbook.com. And if you don't have a account, you can sign up for free. And then I'm going to go to the North American Repeaters. And then I'm going to pick Illinois. And then 
you can pick whichever one of these you want. If you just want your city or you want to do a certain band or digital mode, you can do that. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to do everything. So I'm going to click all. And then it's going to give me this list of all the repeaters, which is nice. I'm going to go up here to export and I'm going to do GPX. And click OK. Now, what I want for this is the first thing I want is the call sign. And the second thing is, is the location city. So this is what will show up on the map when we import it into Gaia. So check the box and then hit download. So now we've got our new file down here. So we're going to go back into Gaia. We're going to click on import data and then select file. And then I'm going to pick the one I just downloaded. Then hit open. Then it's going to say, you know, it may take a while to do this. Then you just check the box here and hit import. And then it gives you a list over here of all the repeaters. So if there's one on here you just, you know, isn't working or it's the wrong mode or whatever, you can just uncheck it. But for now, I'm just going to hit save 500, 519 items. And this, this part does take a little while. Okay, so that's done. Now you'll get this little... It, it basically creates a its own folder for this. Um, but you can see all of them over here that it's plotted. And some of them have different icons. Uh, the generic ones is just a red red pin or a red location pin. Um, if you click on items, it'll show you each repeater. Uh, one thing I like to do um, is change all the icons um, to reflect what it is. So for this, I, I want like a, a tower or a, you know, like a repeater tower. So what I do is I check one of these boxes and then it opens up this, which lets me check all the boxes or all the uh, repeater pins. And then you click these three dots here and you can do set icon. And I'm going to, it's already there, but I want to type in tower and you click on that and then hit save and it's going to act like it's not doing anything but it's just taking a while so just just click it once and then just be patient it takes several minutes to um, do all of this okay as you can see it's updated um, but <laughs> some of them haven't reflected the update yet so you, you got some towers here then the generic one and some more towers and it just it's going to take a while for it to finish doing what it's doing here. So I just let it sit for a while and eventually it'll um it'll it'll get it done. Um sometimes you can refresh the page. Uh, let me try doing that and see if it does anything here. But when you come back over here to save items, you'll get this uh, new folder that's it, it just names it whatever your GPX file was. You can you can rename it um, if you click on it here. You can hit edit here and hit um, you can type it in. So I'm just going to call it repeaters IL for Illinois and then just hit save. So yeah, the icons still haven't haven't quite updated yet. Um, so you may have to do that process where you change the icon several times for it to to finally kick in. But that's that's how you do the repeaters. Um, so we'll leave that there, and we're going to jump over to um, Parks on the Air. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go to Poda dot app this is the website, and then. Again, this is a, a free website. You can log in or set up an account and log in. And then click these three bars over here. And you want to come down here to Park List. And then it's going to show you all the different countries and states. But for me, I'm going to come down here to the U.S. And then I'm going to come down here to the U.S. again. 
and then I'm going to pick Illinois. So here's all the POTA parks for Illinois. Pretty nifty. So you come up here to download, and then we're going to do that GPX file again. So it saves it as Illinois, us-illinois.gpx. So that's, that's a nice file name it gave us. So we're going to go back to Gaia. We're going to hit Import Data, Select File. Then we're going to pick Illinois. This is the one we just got from uh, Parks on the Air. We're going to open that. And then get that same warning. You now there's a lot of waypoints. Just check the box and hit Import. And there they are. So I'm going to just hit imp or, uh, Save down here. And again, that'll take a minute or two. There's less here than there was with the repeater, so it shouldn't take as long. Okay, and you might notice uh, there's a couple over here um, that came in with the Illinois because it's part of a trail. I guess there's a trail that goes, it spans multiple states, and it, it plotted it over here and looks like right on the border of Iowa and Nebraska, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. And there's one up here, too, with the uh, this Mississippi, Upper Mississippi River Wildlife Refuge. But anyway... Um, there they are. So you've got those. And again, if you want to change the icon, uh, you check one of these and then check all of them. And then click the dots, hit set icon. And for this one, I think I used a tree. Let's see. Yeah, I, I used this one. I mean, you can use whatever you want, but um, I like that little tree. So I did that and I hit save. Let's see if this one works any better than the the repeaters one um yeah it's a little a little finicky sometimes but um it says it's updated but it obviously it hasn't but um let me zoom out here if any of them yeah i'm not seeing not seeing any of them change yet but eventually they will change so we'll come back to that so that's that would be the POTA ones. And again, you can see up here, here's one of our POTA parks. So let's jump over to Summits on the Air. So I go to sodamaps.org and just sign up for a free account. And this one is a little different based on how they've set up their regions. Um, for me, I am in the... W9 uh, USA. So you'll get, with this one, you're going to get Wisconsin, Indiana, and Illinois. Um, so here I'm going to do multi and then select all of them. So there's all those. And then I'm going to hit, I mean, if you just wanted Illinois, you could just do that. But I'm going to do all of them just because there's not that many of them in all three states. So... Um, let's hit export and then we're going to come down here and kind of do the same thing again. Uh, W9, where are you? There you are. So we could do just Illinois, but I'm going to do all three. Output format, we're going to do GPX file again. And then we're going to create the file. And there's that one. It actually gives it to you in a zip file. Um, so what I do is click on it, and then it extracts the GPX file. Now I'm on a I'm on a Mac for this tutorial, but it's pretty similar on a PC as well. So what I'm going to do now is go back to Gaia, and then I'm going to import data, select file. I'm going to do the GPX file we just got from Soda Watch or Soda Maps, I guess is the the one I used. Hit open. And here are all the Soda summits in Illinois, Indiana, and Wisconsin. So there's 54 of those. So I'm going to hit save. 
And this one shouldn't take too long because there's only 54, so. All right. You can see our other imports underneath, like kind of faded out a little bit because um, since we're only focused on this one. Um, so here's uh, Wisconsin seems to have a, a majority of them here. Uh, there's a few in Indiana and then there's uh, a handful in Southern Illinois. So again, we're going to go to items and then we're going to click one of these and then we're going to hit the three dots, set icon. Uh, this one I like to use, I think it's mountain. Yeah, we'll do one of these mountains. They've got a couple. One has snow capped and one, <laughs> I'm not going to do the snow capped here, but we'll just do the regular mountain and hit save. And, oops, I forgot to check them all. Uh, let me do that again. Uh, there's our mountain. Okay, save. And you can see some of them changing. Um, again, you might have to do it a couple times for it to, there's like this one finally changed. Um, it, it may take a couple times if you check in this box and hitting change or set icon and getting them to change to the icon you want. So once you have them in this, uh, you can go into save items and these are the three I just did and you can rename these. Um, this was, uh, I'll just say Poda, Illinois. And then we'll go change this one to Soda, Illinois, Indiana, Wisconsin. Just so you know what each one of these are instead of the arc, you know, the weird file names that it, that the different sites gave you. But then you can shut some of these off. Like I want to shut off all the repeaters. I want to shut off all the potas. Then you're left with just soda. So there you go. Uh, that's a pretty uh, pretty cool thing you can do with this software. And then um, let's check out what it looks like on the, the phone. All right. So here is Gaia GPS on the iPhone. And as you can see, our... Summits on the air. We've got um, repeaters. We've got POTA. And right now, since I'm zoomed out so far, they're all kind of grouped together. But if I if I zoom in here, they kind of split apart. And then you can start to see, you know, here's a here's a repeater, and then there's a several POTAs there. And if you're not seeing this on yours, if you've been following along, you can come down to the bottom where it says saved. And then make sure at the top left, make sure that's set to folders. And then make sure the eyeball is not, doesn't have the little slash through it. So that's, if I just, if I want to shut off soda and poda, oops. And just see the repeaters, we can do that. Let's go back to the map. So now we're just seeing repeaters. So here's a whole bunch of them. And again, as you zoom in, they split apart. Like there's three listed here. And then there's one there and, and so on. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty neat to have everything, you know, the repeaters, the POTA, SODA, right here on your, your mapping program. And again, you can put this in airplane mode and still get all of this without being connected to the cellular cellular network. So just thought I would uh, do a little walkthrough on this, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So just curious if anybody else uses Gaia GPS for their ham needs while they're out and about. Um, is there anything besides the repeaters and POTA and SODA that you import in? I'd, I'd be curious to know what that is. And if you have any questions about Gaia or anything else, uh, hit me up in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and make sure to ding my bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks again and 73 from K9SWX.